huge day for Republican presidential hopefuls with 57 delegates up. All this as the top candidates are taking on the big issues concerning the American people, like the economy. Uh, pretty ugly between those two over sure the weekend. Sure did. It took a turn, they didn't it? They both ratcheted really? up. Is not totally consistent with what we've seen elsewhere. But also, he has this like futures market on the candidate on mm -hmm. it. Where were they bet? And that has been pretty darn reliable. Yeah, so, so, so. Trying to stop that from happening, or at least the announcement, uh, trying to postpone it until after Florida or after Super Tuesday, that does not appear to have worked. Uh, in other news, hundreds of high school students and teachers, now we learn, have been freed at least an hour ago. Let that health official go, but they took cover in this school, and they had up to 250 people hostage. Negotiators told the gunmen to surrender uh, to tribal leaders. In return for doing so, all the hostages apparently got out safely. And a U.S. embassy worker found dead in Pakistan, a gunshot wound to the head. The Pakistani Interior Ministry says security officer Keith Ryan killed himself at home. The U.S. embassy plans to investigate, and later today, doctors will perform an autopsy. Ryan worked in immigration and customs enforcement for the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Mysterious is happening at one of the nation's best known landmarks. Something so weird that some people are now comparing it to the Bermuda Triangle. That's all in Florida and with 57 delegates up for grabs, Republican candidates are out in full force today in the sunshine.